top of the afternoon to you, everyone. I'm in Venice Beach and I'm surrounded by people climbing the rope and chinnipers and people doing their thing. And we are gonna do our thing, which is a little drill to get your handstand strength and your push-off strength and your tumbling on beam just better. I had a coach, Deborah, she'd make us do this all the time. It's just handstand walks, forward, sideways, and backwards. Now you can start out just doing one step and then work your way to two, work your way to three, and so on and so forth. Because if you practice more handstand stuff on the beam, I am telling you, it's gonna help you out because it's just not the same as on the floor. Because you don't have, you know, as much to hold on to. So check it out. And keep in mind, this is only if you have solid handstands on beam, your cartwheel, you're working on your back handspring. You know, it's just to get you stronger. And remember, this beam is actually, seems a little bit skinnier than the real deal and it's really slippery. I don't recommend doing it on a wooden beam. Just stick to the beam at the gym, okay? Please. Thumb on top, fingers on th side for cross, for handstand forward walk. Get your feet on top of your hands, then start walking. You start walking early or you let your feet go over an arch, eh, it's not gonna happen. We'll see how far I can get here. And concentrate, push your shoulders up. Look at the beam. Oh boy, it's hard. Definitely not easy. Really trying to concentrate. I don't want to lose it. Better, but whatever. Now we're gonna try backwards. Okay, backwards, this is the hardest one for sure. And remember, just focusing, keeping your feet on top. I know my legs were a little sloppy. Be tighter, be tighter than that. It'll be easier. Um, and yeah, the feet on top of the hands is very important and just pushing. And you really gotta focus. You gotta, you can't be thinking about, oh, what am I gonna have for dinner? Or, what movie am I gonna see later? You gotta think about what you're doing. For myself, I need to practice this more. Gotta do it, gotta do it. Put it on my list. Not the grocery list, the gymnastics list. Okay, now for sideways. This is the easiest one. Cause uh, this way with the thumb definitely is harder. You have to have more control. Wow, someone's coughing up the lung over there. I hope he's okay. All right. You gotta adjust your balance. Oh, I'm not gonna lose it. Oh boy. Nope, nope, nope. Save it, save it. Oh man. Okay, this is my workout for the day. No. Oh, and there you have it. I'm gonna do a re-challenge at the gym on the regular beam. Cause yeah, we're gonna get this down better. So work at it, put it into your practice or your own little training. And yeah, feel the strongness. Get those shoulders pumped. All right, time for the end of the video trick. Thanks for watching everyone, I really appreciate it. Oh, and look, we're gonna 
show you, like, put it over the beam. It just, it just seems skinnier and it's wooden and slippery. The sand is all like, um, yeah, I feel like I'm like ice skating on the beam instead of walking on the beam. So, I know I'm making excuses, but hey. All right, here you go. I landed on my feet, yes. Alrighty, take care everyone. Have a sunny day. Oh, and subscribe if you want more videos. And check out my other gymnastics lesson and workouts if you want. Okay, bye.